<laughs> Welcome, guys, to Living 757. Thank you guys for joining us once again. And obviously, as you can see, it's no, just Ashley. the two of us. Just Ashley two of us. is not here. Why? Because she's at home healthy with her and her brand new daughter. Yes. Beautiful baby. Look, Look at, at that. Look at that. She Look has a very healthy, yeah. beautiful baby girl. Her name is Chloe. Literally, after Aww. last week's show, after yes. we tape, and, and, and there's going to be a point when we do bloopers, like when we celebrate our annual you know, a anniversary, and we're going to try to find the moment when we knew she was about to go into contractions and labor. Well, she actually, <laughs> we were recording the last segment last week, yeah. and she started having contractions when yeah. she left, right. literally, the show. Yeah. She went this. home. And that, and that little baby was oh ready to gosh. come out to the world. He's, she's in her car seat. She's beautiful. She's so, so beautiful. Congratulations, yes. Ashley. You have uh, this, 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 this woman, mm -hmm. uh, she pushed through a lot of situations. Yes, she did. You know what? <laughs> but, you know, the this this studio doesn't have to be as cold anymore. <laughs> Thank she'd be God. Like, it's hot. <laughs> yes, I'm sick of this. She was like, I'm holding too right here. So right. I'm hot. Right. Oh my God. So we are happy for you. You yeah. and Keith. And Congratulations baby to the whole Adrian family. Has a sister. Adrian, Keith. <laughs> Yeah, now, Ashley. as you can see, I got this uh, nice, smooth-looking blazer. It's like a pink uh, light, you know, yes. like it's in celebration That's of right. baby Chloe. So, you know, uh, they say I got that, say I got that Riz. No, I know <laughs> we are celebrating That's Ashley's. My daughter, my daughter told me about Riz, You're, you know. Like, that's actually like good Like Riz call. is when you, you can have that look that's like, it's a smolder look like. I didn't know that until this morning when you teach me that. <laughs> I didn't I teach you none of that. Yes, you did. I was like, what is that, Quincy? You yeah, said, I this is like other look. No, oh, good. what is going not on? Not at all, not at all. But it's good, uh, you know, like uh, children coming into the home is yes. all pretty good. And you look beautiful as Thank always. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Quincy. Now, speaking of babies, I know Ashley is her second baby, so I believe she knows what is coming, but how are you doing with baby seven? You know what? I almost <laughs> forgot. I'm a new papa, puppy papa. Uh, look, let me See, ask you a question. See, I got you, baby hold up, seven. Hold up. I've been meaning to ask you this question. When have you left Arkif mm -hmm. at home without being in the crate? I know that you don't like to put a seatbelt on him, so you may be dangerous if uh, you put a seatbelt in the car. So do you leave him, like, running about the house? or do you? Yeah, like, he's never been in a crate really? no, since day one. Never. Crazy. And it doesn't bother you? No, never bother me. He follows me everywhere. Yeah. It's like a, my third leg. Like, a, I need <laughs> to look. Third leg. <laughs> no, no, no. I yeah. need to look down because sometimes I step on me. He's so little. He's okay. a shih tzu, right? Yeah. So when he was a baby, he just followed me everywhere. But I never put him in a crib. Right. I never. He got his bed and everything. So that's what we're struggling with. Me and uh, Sabrina, we're struggling with. Like, when do we now not have to put him in a crate? So that's the, the, that's the next uh, level of uh, uh, pet parenthood. Okay. He's doing party outside, right? He learns yeah, that yeah, part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, now he got that part, you can leave him in the house free. Why? Because if you put him in the crib, every time that I open it, he's gonna be all over the place. Oh. But if he learns that he's his place to live also, okay. he's not gonna do anything. Well, he's not gonna jump on the couch unless he's so hyper. Right, and that's the interesting thing about pets because we had a cat and we never, uh -huh. we never thought about, <laughs> oh, what is the cat doing? Because that cat was walking on refrigerators and stoves <laughs> and everything. So, you know what, we don't really have anything to worry about. Sabrina, we don't have anything to worry about this day. Dangerous, <laughs> this dangerous pet owner leaves her, her, her dog to run amok. It's so a little shih tzu. Do. <laughs> what a shih tzu can do in your house yeah. other than chew is something, some right. other way, but he well, never did. Right. He never did. Okay. No, well, to be honest. Well, the one thing that we do need to watch out for when it comes to pets are there are something called wild coyote sightings in Hampton Roads. Now, they have increased according to, uh, you know, sources here. Now, I do have to tell you, Look so, yeah, so these are like, if you've never seen a coyote, like they got fluffy tails and they almost look like a fox, but they're a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. But these things will snatch your little uh, uh, shih tzu, shih tzu <laughs> snatch them up. So that's what, uh, uh, you know, parents of 
pets got to be aware of yeah. if you let your pets roam outside. Now, here are some tips. They say if you do encounter a coyote, uh, they said be careful about letting small dogs and cats outside. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, this guy is in our ear talking about pet him. You do not pet that. Man, get out of my ear. <laughs> All right. Uh, but also, if you see a coyote, keep your distance, make loud noise, and then they will uh, most likely run away from you. You got to make yourself look bigger and you got to stand tall. Okay. Not so that's take very. Not a selfie for sure. Very, yeah, definitely do, do no, not take do any not selfies. Take a selfie. So those are the, some of the things that you can do. But uh, be careful when you let your little uh, pets out, your little pets out who mm, can run. That, my little baby yes. will be a snack for them. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. For sure. Now, Speaking of snacks and food, guess what? I have a good news for everybody here in Hampton Road. Kroger's and all Kroger's from Mid-Atlantic, including the Hampton Road ones, mm -hmm. they're gonna give $10 free on every purchases when you also got the shot vaccine for this coming season. You know, the summer is, is, is over. Mm -hmm. Now we have to prepare for the new season. So Kroger's gonna be uh, providing $10 for your next purchase, grocery purchases for everyone that have the shot vaccine and also the Kroger pharmacy. So this is great news. Also Kroger is gonna do it to the employees for free. All the employees that are working in Kroger can get the flu shot flu for shot. free completely. Yes, the flu shot. Cool. Cool. Well, I think it's great, yeah, you know? Yeah. Take care of your employees, take care of the community. Right. Give and us ten dollars for free. <laughs> right, and everybody is safe, all right? Now, yeah. um, when it does come to safety, um Let's talk about events, all right? Because yes, people can go out I to events. events. As a matter of fact, last week, my Crash the Party event, it How went it? off. It was the first time in four years. Went off great. Uh, so great, Yay. I don't even have pictures. That's how <laughs> That's how much we were partying. We didn't even take any pictures. But, but there are other events that are going on, mm -hmm. including there is something called the... Um, the, it's the third annual One Love Reggae Ooh, uh, Jam one Session. Love. Now, yeah, there you go. One, one heart. Uh, let's... Let's be together and be and feel and be all, right. all right. Be all right. Be all right. <laughs> right. So that's going down uh, September the second, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's a lot of music. That's a lot of reggaeness is going on out there, and that's not even a word. That's a lot of beer, food, vendors, music, and much more. So guys, get out there and enjoy entertainment safely because. Um, the summer is not all the way over yet. No, And that's it's right not. before uh, Labor Day weekend, so get up oh, there and enjoy. Oh, right there, just right, right around the corner. Yeah, you got it. Very soon. So now, I know Quincy, you makes us laugh with your comedy presentation, yeah, with your show. I try. You know, yes, you do. Come on. <laughs> you know who is coming from Saturday Night Live Ooh. here to the 757? Who? You know him. Pete Davidson and friends. Pete yes, da the Pete guy, Davidson. The guy that's uh, with uh, the, the girl he stole from uh, Kanye. Oh, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. He didn't stole nobody's girl. He, he yes. did steal. He did Kim Kardashian, now, Kanye West's ex-wife. Right. Right now it's ex-wife, but uh, yes, Pete Davidson was dating. And right. he also dated Adriana Grande yeah. and all these supermodels. What does this what guy this have? Guy has? <laughs> this, this guy has his comedy, but he's always getting all the supermodels, and they has got Kim Kardashian, so um, like Kamos, right? So Adriana Grande, he right. was almost engaged with Adriana Grande to get right. married with her. So I'm sure his comedy, I'm sure he has a lot to say. He and his friends. Okay. Now I have a note on that. Okay. I know you guys, as a comedy, you always use that as a that's your strain when it comes for girls. Mm -hmm. But I don't think the guy is cute. Oh, We're so gonna... you don't you don't like? No, uh, just Pete make okay. Davis. He can make me laugh, but at the end of the day, I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. All right. Well, look, Pete. Uh, I don't know about her, but if you would like to come on the show, we'll interview you. Just don't talk to her. Well, don't me get me you. wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> I would love to have Pete here on Seven by Seven, but uh, you know, I will. I prefer to have. Um, Matt Rife, do you Matt, remember? Matt Rife, yes. Yeah, he was yes. here already on the Hampton Road area. Yes. I think it was All three months ago. All the ladies love him, man. He, he, he got a whole, you know when you go to McDonald's and you buy the, the, the combo? <laughs> <laughs> he got this everything. Girl, you compare Matt Rife to a combo meal at no, McDonald's? No, I'm so just saying, he got a whole package. He's okay. cute, he make you laugh, yeah. he's tall, he's handsome. It's like okay, a, we you got get a it. french fries, a coke. We, we <laughs> get it, okay, he's cute, he's handsome, and he makes you laugh. I try to be at least one of those. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. I think you, you you got it. You, you got one of those for sure. You're a very funny guy. Thank, oh my goodness! Let's let's get out of here. <laughs> well, I forgot what is coming in, but I, I don't have Pete. I don't have Matt. But I guess what? I have Quincy car with me. <laughs>
yeah. who joined also uh, a summer camp with the YMCA and also K-Pop 757 will be here with us today in the studio. Oh, that is correct, Patricia. And also the Virginia Peninsula Community College has got a degree program for you. But up first, okay, we cannot forget about the people that deal with mental issues, mm. mental illness, and uh, we're gonna find a little bit about that when we come back. We're just getting started right here yeah. on the coolest show I in have town. The most handsome guy. I'm Quincy. Here. Quincy Carr. <laughs> See? 